there was a, I follow Demi Lovato on Instagram. I love Demi Lovato. Who doesn't love some Demi Lovato, you know? Um, but she posted, I think this was maybe a week ago. And she posted, she reposted this, um, I don't know what you would call it. But basically, it was like different posts. It was like a multi-post. And it was just uh, basically like phrases and paragraphs and stuff like that. Basically, I'm going to sum it all up. If you follow Demi, you probably saw it. Or I'm sure you can still look it up. I just checked, I think, yesterday and it was still up. So I'm just going to cover real lightly what it is. And uh, basically, it was saying that gender real. Ugh, I can't I can't fucking speak today, y'all. I can't speak today. I don't know what's going on. I, I'm not even drinking. I can't speak today. Anyways, uh, basically, it said that gender reveals. Oh my goodness. Gender reveal parties are transphobic. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. You can go look at the post if you want to. I'm sure you can find it. It's like pink and it just has letters. Like there's no pictures. It's just it's just words and paragraphs, phrases. So gender reveal parties are transphobic. I, I love you, Demi. I love you. All right. But no. No, they're not. Far from it. Okay. So, so she didn't post it. She didn't post it herself. It was a repost from someone else. I want to make that clear, but she did repost it. And usually when you repost something is because you agree with it, right? So this topic in general, not Demi said or whatever, right? I think Demi with her platform, well, whatever, it's what she stands by. It doesn't matter about her platform, but for me, I feel like that's a little bit too far and it's a little bit unnecessary, right? Because gender reveal parties, I mean, it's for the it's for the parents to celebrate like the life they're bringing into this world, right? Boy or girl, it doesn't matter. The the main celebration for a gender reveal party really is, you know, besides the baby shower and whatnot, it's for you celebrating bringing a life into this world. So like, let the parents celebrate the life that they're bringing. Celebrate being pregnant and being happy and bringing a child into this world like let just let them be to say that you're transphobic because you're having a gender reveal party yo that baby has no idea what they are that baby has no idea what they are and in the womb you're a male or female in the womb that's what you're identified as right no doctor's gonna be like oh we don't know if it's a non-binary baby or gender neutral baby. No, you're in the womb as a male or female, right? What you come out, when you come out of the womb, right? And you live life and you experience this world that we're in and you feel like the body that you're in isn't you. Cool. You can come out and decide whatever you want to be past that, right? You you can be whatever you want to be and you live life and you do whatever makes you happy. 1000%. No one can tell you different. No one should tell you different, right? You live your life, be happy, right? But to say a gender reveal party is transphobic, like, what are we doing? What are we, that doesn't make you transphobic. Like, that that's honestly crazy. It, it's crazy. Like, it was like this, this one, I'm not, I wouldn't get into all that, but basically I will get into all that. It was like this one parent on TikTok where, she was trying to prove basically that you shouldn't say she was she was kind of upset that parents like would say a boy is going to be a heartbreaker or you should have to like lock your girl up in the house like you can't let her go anywhere because guys will be all on her or this boy is going to great break girls hearts where so she came out and was like my baby's gay my baby's gay because she was like you shouldn't just assume that a boy is going to be a heartbreaker when first off a a boy even if he's gay, can break other guys' hearts. Anyone can be a heartbreaker. Anyway, that doesn't matter. But it's crazy to think that, like, yo, it's crazy that we're thinking like that. This baby has no, no idea what, what they're coming into when they come into this world. But now you're putting, like, pressure behind it saying gender reveal parties are transphobic. Yo, let those parents be happy. But what concerns me, what, I, what I'm worried about is that people are going to start harassing gender reveal parties that are out in public or out in front of someone's house that have no idea that have no 
that have no reason to be there. Let these people be, yo. If they want to have a gender reveal party, let them have a gender reveal party. You don't know. They might be on the same page as you and just be like, yeah, we don't know. So we're we're doing a mixture of both colors. Like you you don't know. So I feel like that's a little bit too far. Um, I just, I, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. But my concerns are that it's going to go further than just that. Maybe this shit might get shut down from the jump and it doesn't take take off. I know I was reading the comments on it and a lot of people were disagreeing with her uh, with the repost and what the post said. So maybe a lot of people do think this way and they're like, yo, like that's a little bit too far. Like, what are we doing? But um, 